Hi, my name is Elizabeth Foster and I'm the founder and CEO of Connect to Coach. And today we are joined by one of our really cool coaches. I have a, um, we've done a lot of work together and uh, it's very exciting to have him. So welcome Mitch Harris. Hi Elizabeth, it's great to be here. Thank you very much for taking the time and I'm so excited to find out more about you. Uh, I've been looking forward to this interview. Me too. So, um, tell, tell us in, in one sentence, you know, what you actually specialize in in coaching. Certainly. I work with sales professionals, business owners, and entire organizations, and I help them to experience major breakthroughs in their sales performance. And at the end of the day, one can look at the bottom line, and that's really how it's measured. But what goes into that can really vary depending on the organization or the particular situation that I'm stepping into. Wow. And I can imagine I'm kind of thinking about how the coaching that you do could actually really impact that bottom line and the benefits of actually working with you would, could be quite substantial in an organization. Certainly. And that's one of the reasons I'm passionate about it. Uh, empowerment, inspiration, and many of the intangibles that play a part of something like that certainly go into it. But when you can also look at your business or your organization and tangibly see increases in revenue and profitability, which trickles down to so many different advantages in, in your life, whether it's your freedom and the choices you have or the morale on your team, it's very rewarding. And, and the rubber really meets the road very quickly in, in this niche. I love it. That's fantastic. So actually, what led you to become a coach and specialize in this area? Sure. Well, on one level, I had for a long time been very much into personal and professional development. I was always looking for ways personally that I can improve or grow or, or, or be better myself. I uh, was a big fan of that. Uh, but I was also a financial advisor on Wall Street for the better part of a decade. And while there were aspects of that business I loved, um, and I'm very glad for my experience with that, it also got to a point where even when I was getting paid very well and making great money at it, I wasn't really enjoying it to the level that I felt I could have. And what began to emerge organically was I became the in-house mentor at the firm I was with, where people started naturally coming to me. Um, if someone was running up against the problem or they wanted to find a way to do things better or was just at a low point, it became common knowledge, well, just go talk to Mitch. And uh, the, the partners of the firm I was with began to ask me to give the sales meetings at the company I was with because people were enjoying and getting more out of my sales meetings than they were out of from, from the partners. And I was passionate about it and really connected with it. And I finally got to a point where I embraced this is what I really love doing. I had to remind myself to get on the phone to manage money when, when that's why I was there because I was getting so excited about mentoring the, my, my colleagues and helping them to get better. So I eventually made that switch and, and got into this industry. Wow, that really is a passion of yours then, isn't it? For you to be so engrossed and, and, and have such a, a desire to work in that particular, you know, and to support people basically is what you were doing. And then instead of actually, well, I, I need to go and buy some stocks and shares. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> That's a bit of a clue, you know? And, and f from the very first day I've done this, while like any business, it, it takes commitment and there are ups and downs, uh, it's, there's always been an effortless flow to it uh, because I know I'm in, I'm in the right position and, and you know, the right purpose. Uh, so it's been very rewarding and it continues to be. I like that. That's so cool. That's uh, really, really great. So, so, I mean, I can think of, of, of so many people that would benefit from working with you, but actually maybe you could just name a few that you've, that you've worked with and, and, you know, and, and, you know, what they've got out of working with you. Sure. Um, well, I, I've worked across the board in terms of size and profile of company. I've worked with small boutiques of 10 to 20 people. And I've also worked with the largest corporations on the planet. And I've been fortunate enough to travel all over the country and as far as Hong Kong uh, to do this kind of work. Um, if, if I would give an example, I would say one thing that comes to mind or one example that comes to mind is a real estate corporation that I worked with several years ago, uh, who I still have a very good relationship with the owner of that company. 
And when you can help someone to increase their sales several times over, it's amazing how that tends to happen. <laughs> People like to stay in touch with you. Mm. Uh, but this was a gentleman who at one time had had the single largest uh, residential real estate sales force in the Bronx, New York, and had done very well, um, had made a lot of money and, and had a very big impact in the market with that model. Um, but as many businesses do, it, it, it rose and then moved down, uh, came off a bit. And then he had a period of time where he was vacillating back and forth. And what happens is very often your top producers will leave you uh, to create their own ventures or market conditions change. As we, you know, as we all know, the internet has changed things dramatically um, and, and got to a point where his sales force wasn't at the level or, or operating at the level that it once had. And he was really beating his head against the wall for a while, attempting to train and identify talent and cultivate people. And what we did was we came in and created a complete transformation in that organization where I, I helped the leader, I helped this individual really change a lot of his methods as far as how he was recruiting, how he was cultivating talent, as well as how he was training people. And also a lot of the methodologies of how the agents themselves were interacting with clients, how they were getting people's attention, how they were differentiating themselves from the 10 other brokers this person would hear from within one week. And then also just the impact on team culture, on you know reminding people of what's possible, why they're doing what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And also Elizabeth to be candid at times accountability and, and holding the line and saying, listen, that's a beautiful story. When you're ready, you can, you can become an author and publish a book, but right now it's time to execute and follow through on the things that you said you would do. And initiating that, putting that into place along with a series of systems that helped them to, to be structured in what they were doing. And over the course of a year, the gross sales of that organization increased literally several hundred percent. Uh, it was several fold. Wow. And uh, yeah, it, it made a difference of millions of dollars to this gentleman's bottom line. And I don't want to indicate that every scenario I work with or every client that I deal with uh, happens quite that way. Um, but, but that's one really, that, that's an exciting, inspiring example that comes to mind. And you know, I'm also of the mindset that for most organizations, Elizabeth, if they can increase their gross production, even a 10 to 15% over the course of a year, let alone a home run scenario, like what I'm, what I'm referring to, uh, it, it's a huge success. But, but that company in particular is something I always look back on, and, and it really feels almost like a turnaround scenario uh, where we were able to come in and have a, a very big impact. Wow, that sounds amazing. And, and I can imagine that the, the gentleman that owned the company was incredibly happy with the results. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> and as I said, one of the reasons we're still close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can well imagine that for sure. Sure. So, um, I mean, I listened to you speak about the coaching um, that you provide your clients, and I kind of really get a sense of that, that that care that you have for your clients. But actually, I kind of want to put the, the focus on you for a moment. So what actually gives you joy when coaching a client? Certainly. Uh, I would say there's a few components to that. The first is just to see people's perception. Their, their kind of paradigm of perception begin to shift. And what they realize or what they're becoming aware to or aware of, maybe for the first time in their lives, to see those light bulbs going off and to have those aha moments where they're getting it. And maybe a blind spot has been dissolved for the very first time in their life where it's, 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 it's profound, really, where someone realizes there's a, a certain way that they've been operating uh, that just has not been serving them. And it's not about learning more information. It's not about any methodology. It's just about a realization of how uh, the client is showing up around their business or in their life that can create a, 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 a wind tunnel of possibility for them. And the other side of that coin is, I believe, Elizabeth, that so many sales professionals and entrepreneurs and people out there looking to create something in business walk around to one degree or another disempowered. 
mm. where they're feeling intimidated or beat up or like a failure in some regard because they're not maybe they've, they've attempted something and it hasn't worked out or they're not at a point where they feel they should be at that given time in their career. And, and these are very talented, intelligent, experienced people. I'm not just talking about someone who's brand new to the world of business or, or someone who's never done it before. People who've been in the game for a while get beat up and, and deal with the ups and downs. And to see someone have a turnaround and to be reinvigorated or to believe that, that they can create what they set out to create once again, or, or to, to have, to, to maybe forgive themselves for something they had to let go of, or, or just to, to create that turnaround, it, it allows me to feel that in, in, in my own small way, I'm contributing to the human condition and I'm allowing people to be better in their lives. And that's, that just so completely inspires me uh, that it's just something I love about the work that I do. Oh, I think that's so, that, that's, uh just wonderful to hear you say that and and i really feel that that level of commitment that you have to to, to people and to their businesses and to seeing that change in them is just so profound and and obviously so genuine so i think that anybody working with you is going to be very very lucky indeed thank you thank you so much thank you so much for joining us today um i would highly recommend anybody that is looking for to, to take their business um or their or their sales um either of those aspects to a new level is to really reach out and and contact you so um but uh, thank you very much and um i've enjoyed talking with you today thank you elizabeth it's been a pleasure